Three years ago, Richard Blum, chair of the UC Board of Regents, Berkeley alumnus and philanthropist, and a man deeply committed to alleviating human suffering, funded the establishment of a multidisciplinary initiative at Berkeley to combat global poverty. The interest and enthusiasm of our students and faculty have been tremendous. Berkeley's zeal for public service has made the global poverty and practice minor the fastest growing on campus. It quickly became evident that the center needed a home. Richard once again stepped forward and offered to finance the restoration of the Naval Architecture Building. We are extremely grateful to Richard Blum, a truly extraordinary man for his vision, his generosity, and his confidence in what our students and faculty can achieve for the world. And I have a fair amount of experience with Chairman Blum. And one thing I can tell you is, and I don't think he'd deny it, he's not a very patient man. And I say that with all possible kindness, Richard. He doesn't have patience for complex administrative bureaucracies. He doesn't have patience for people who haven't done their homework. And he doesn't have patience for the condition of chronic poverty in which so many people around the world currently live. This is a deep passion of his, one that goes back many decades. And he deserves tremendous credit publicly for developing a, a really ambitious initiative here, the Blum Center, to help to combat global poverty. Our faculty and students are delivering real world solutions to improve the lot of the poor all across the world. In the first three years of the center, we have provided safe water and sanitation in eight different countries. For instance, in India, our UE tube-based micro-utilities have already de delivered clean water at two cents, a two cents per 10 liters to over a million people. Energy efficiency technologies across Africa and US, including the Berkeley Darfur stove, designed us using the world's fastest supercomputer at LBL to be simultaneously efficient to reduce deforestation, reduce emissions, and make for a be better cooking medium. Our stoves are now being assembled in the refugee camps and are saving the lives of women who no longer have to spend long hours outside the camps. And finally, wireless technologies to deliver health care, such as the CellScope, a microscope mounted on a cell phone camera for early detection of malaria and TB. This has really been the jackpot because the people at this university with their brilliance, their commitment, and if it wasn't for all of you kids sitting out there, we wouldn't be doing this. Um, this is a great generation of youth. Years ago, you all wanted to go in my business, which was investment banking. That doesn't look quite as good as it did a few years ago. Um, you all had this interest in poor people around the world, and there are three billion of them. So I just want to really thank you all as students. What has made this so exciting is the demonstrated commitment of the student body here to this, to this curriculum. It, it is amazing to see how you have flocked to learn what is available to be learned in this center already just in the last three years. I will predict for you that this will quickly become a center of global importance. One of the barriers to building a global agreement that will finally solve the climate crisis is bridging the divide between the wealthy countries and the poor countries, the developed countries and the developing countries. The Richard H. Blum Center for Developing Economies will be one of the key places where that piece of the puzzle is solved and where it is fitted in as the capstone of the arch. Through his values and actions, Vice President Gore embodies the highest ideals of the University of California, Berkeley. It's therefore my very great pleasure to bestow the Berkeley Medal on Al Gore in recognition of his outstanding achievements in the public interest. His contributions to society illustrate the public service ideals to which Berkeley aspires. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.